Ambassadors and guests. Lydia, Toastmaster, lights, please. Thank you. One of the best things you can do for yourself and others is smile and be kind. This was the epitome of Tim Ricky. Now, evaluators, a question for you. Are you ready to embrace your inner Tim Ricky? Right. <laughs> Let's do it. All righty. Evaluating the first speech, already impeached, please welcome Toastmaster Nadine Martin. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I have the honor of evaluating Ardy and Peach's speech today. I did connect with Ardy earlier on the week, in the week to confirm what he wanted me to critique, if there was anything in particular. And he did go ahead and let me know that this is a speech that he actually gave during one of the area contests. So he wanted me to be nitpicky and critique him like a contest judge. So there wasn't any haggling in our interaction at all. Firstly, I'd like to say that this was such an interesting topic to hear about your personal experience of natural talent versus deliberate practice. And I really liked how you started the speech off strong with an engaging question. He started off by asking friends, what would you do if you knew that you couldn't fail? This is such a powerful question which had me thinking but so much so to the point that I miss the next couple of sentences. So my suggestion to you, Ardine, would be to perhaps add a longer pause to allow the audience to sit with that question. As far as clarity goes, I think that you were very clear. I understood every word. You, you, you had a great use of humor throughout your speech. Some of my notable mentions throughout the speech were you wanted to be the world's fastest typer, and you also mentioned that you went to talk to your speed typing friends. Yes, that's an actual thing. So great job with that. I also believe that you had a great use of vocal variety and tonality. You did a great job accentuating your points by increasing your volume. You had a very great use of eye contact. I noticed that you were perusing throughout the crowd and engaging everyone by holding eye contact with them. And you did an excellent job of memorizing your speech as you obviously didn't use any note cards at all. I also felt that you did a great job of your uh, gestures. So you did bang on the desk to highlight the impact of possibly hitting an actual brick wall. And you looked very comfortable walking around the room. Now a couple of suggestions. This is me trying to be nitpicky. I would say you use the front half of the room, which was excellent, but perhaps consider using the entire area so that you can engage more people. Maybe try and hold your eye contact a little bit longer. And I would have said that you could have possibly added some more pauses to drive certain points home and to allow the audience to think more on statements. Changing up the cadence also and slowing down and picking up the pace will also help with emphasizing your points. But overall, I think this was an excellent speech. You did a great job, and I like how you ended with an important message. Next time we meet a brick wall, bring a ladder. So that, that was very inspiring. Great job. Thank you. 